Hello witches! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Alice Knight and I post witchy and spiritual related videos every Friday. Today's video is going to be the last in my Elemental Magic series on the fifth element of spirit. I've already done videos on each of the other classic elements that you can check out if you're interested. If you enjoy my videos, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. The elements surround us moment by moment, but many people go through life without noticing their connections to them. However, as a pagan and or witch, you've probably experienced a closer relationship to the elements than most. While the four classic elements, water, air, fire, and earth, together comprise the physical world, there is a fifth element, often referred to as spirit, that exists within all four of the others. The spirit element is immaterial, yet present in all things, and does not exist apart from anything else. It is invisible, but essential for connection and balance between all the other elements. Spirit is also sometimes called aether, or quintessence, which literally means the fifth element in Latin. Aether was what the Greek philosophers saw as the upper air, or the air that the gods breathed in the celestial sphere. It represents the universal inner space, the material that fills the region of the universe above the territorial sphere. Spirit is the element of self-awareness, wholeness, and transcendence. Others refer to the spirit element as akasha, a Sanskrit word translating roughly as space or atmosphere. This is not meant in our modern sense of outer space, but rather an absence of physical form, an energy that is present in all things, but is not physical itself. Akasha is seen as the original element, from which all creation came. This Eastern concept is not exactly identical to the Western concept of spirit, but the similarities were sufficient for later spiritual and religious traditions to adopt Akasha into their terminologies. No matter which term is used, the element of spirit, the fifth element, can be elusive to grasp, even though it is within us and all around us. It can be particularly difficult to keep in our awareness in the busy modern world we live in today. That's why meditation, prayer, and ritual are treasured practices among spiritual seekers of all kinds. When we get quiet and still, when we come to the altar and observe our sacred rituals, we can more easily get back in touch with this all-encompassing element, an energy that is so intangible and mysterious, it's no wonder that it has so many different names. Spirit is similar to the four classical elements, but also different. It's neither hot nor cold, wet nor dry, projective nor receptive. It's beyond time and beyond space. It is uncreated and undefinable. It's kind of everything and nothing all at once. The four classic elements all have qualities that are assigned to them, but these qualities don't apply to the element of spirit. This is because it is the source and substance of all creation. It is the universal energy that makes up everything. The all source or the creator is comprised of spirit as well. Spirit is the source energy that makes up the four elements. Most sources will tell you that spirit is also the combination of the four other elements. Since it's part of everything, it does not have any specific ritual or magical correspondences itself, at least in most traditions. Although you might sometimes find information online listing certain specific herbs or other correspondences, really all of them connect to spirit. The attributes of spirit are impossible to express because of its nature of being beyond expression. To try and quantify it would be to limit it, and it is unlimited. One way to think about it is to imagine a canvas with a painting of various shades and textures. Although we can look at the painting and admire the skill and expression, we know it cannot exist without the canvas. This is the case with spirit, which holds everything we know into position. Just as silence is the mother of sound, spirit is the mother of life and all dimensions of it. It does not discriminate. It has no limits and no boundaries. And though it can never be perceived or conceived, it can be activated and powerful, and when experienced, can change the nature of our lives forever. Spirit is a completely universal element and represents the prime element present in all things, the sense of joy and union, providing space, connection, and balance for all elements to exist. It is essential to our sense of connectedness with spirit and well-being. It represents transcendence, transformation, change, wholeness, connectedness, the universe, infinite time, everywhere and nowhere, within and without, and immanence. Spirit represents the link and connection of body and soul. Spirit is not earthbound and doesn't have all the same kind of correspondences as the other elements. It's one of the most elusive of the elements, but that doesn't mean it's lacking in folklore. 
In fact, entire religions have been built upon the idea of the spirit or soul and what happens to it after death. Spirit has always existed within folk beliefs, with some of the earliest forms appearing in animistic religions and spiritual practices around the world. Animism, which is derived from the Latin anima, which means breath, spirit, or life, is the idea that all things, living and non-living, have a spirit within them. It is this spirit or energy that modern-day witches use when working with magical correspondences, and it's the foundation of nature-based spiritualities around the world. Later, humankind began differentiating living souls or spirit from that of non-living objects through the use of blood. Spirit is what is called forth in ritual through the invoking of the god and goddess and of the elements. It dwells in us as living beings, both when we are aware of it and when we aren't. But when we are aware of spirit, and when we have clear and focused intentions, we can utilize this core, fundamental energy to manifest desired change through magic. Spirit is often represented by the color purple or white, as white is comprised of all colors combined. Spirit does not have an associated gender, energy type, season, or cardinal direction. It's associated with the entire wheel of the year and all magical tools. Spirit is really the element of divine intelligence, which needs no specific symbols to be recognized. However, when we discuss the Wiccan elements, the pentacle is often mentioned, since the star has five points, one for each element, and is surrounded by a circle, which can symbolize the way in which spirit holds all of creation together. Some symbols you can use for the element of spirit are the wheel, infinity, the pentacle or the spiral, or even a circle. In the pentagram, spirit is represented by the top point. Spirit works with all the elements in the same manner. Spirit supports each of the elements, and each of the elements supports spirit. Spirit cannot be separated from the other elements, as it is infused in all that we do. Types of magic include enlightenment, finding your life path, spiritual knowledge, seeing and understanding karmic paths of life, and the cycle of life and rebirth. Some type of rituals involving spirit might be self-knowledge, self-affirmation, communicating with deity, and seeking religious direction. Spirit is the primordial energy that is underlying all of creation. It's the primordial energy that has created everything and keeps everything that has been created in equilibrium. Because spirit is the source of all existence, it is understood that everything finds its reflection in spirit. Our consciousness is composed of the fifth element of spirit. Spirit is that which connects us beyond our bodies and beyond our individual minds. This is what connects us and what we mean when we say we are all one. We are connected through spirit. It's kind of the bridge between the physical and the spiritual, the difference between the body and the soul. We are spirit within a physical body having a human experience. Personally, I love to connect with spirit in the forms of my deities. I do this through meditation, visualization, offerings, and just talking to them. You can also connect to spirit through your ancestors and even local land spirits like the different Fae if you believe in that. I haven't done a ton of ancestor work, but it's something I'd like to get more into in the future. I'll leave you with this quote. The spiritual element, the really important part of religion, has no concern with time and space, temporary mundane laws, or conduct. I know this video was shorter than my other elemental magic videos, but I hope you found it interesting and learned something new. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. You can hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, or video ideas for me, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Blessings!